Good day students, I am Teacher Rio and this is Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Region, Lesson 10. For Lesson 10, we are going to discuss about the local materials used as applied to contemporary arts. Now, I want you to take a look on the pictures and later on, I'm going to ask some questions. Okay, based on the pictures, what word can you form below? Explain why did you say so and give your own definition of that word. That's right students, so the word that you can form based on the pictures a while ago is local. Before we go on to our lesson today, here are our objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to state the main characteristics for the local as the material for the contemporary arts, identify local materials in creating art, and demonstrate the ways by which local materials and techniques can translate concepts and feelings about the local. So, what is local? Local can refer to material that is easily available, like bamboo, coconut shell, paper, and so on. And these are resources that can be found readily and it could also be referred to as materials that can be used to fabricate a finished element. Local can also refer to whatever the artist finds himself or herself. Now, let's talk about the material for the contemporary arts and its main characteristics for the local. The first one is puni or palm folding. It is the Bulacanus way of decorating using leaf front folding and it is the art of leaf fronts folding in Bulacan Province, Philippines. Puni or palm folding is a Tagalog term from the province of Bulacan which means to beautify or decorate with the use of coconut leaf. So coconut leaves are fashioned by folding plating braiding and simple weaving which may have functional as well as aesthetic uses. Puni can be categorized according to their uses. The most common designs are in the form of toys such as birds, fish, grasshopper and so on. They are also used as food container for suman, rice and various kakanin, the most commonly known is the puso and paraphernalia for religious rituals especially during Palm Day when these designs are used to accentuate the balaspas. Bulacenos also uses another useful and creative material which made them the what we call singkaban or bamboo art. Singkaban is a local term for bamboo arches elaborately designed with kayas. Filipino word for a decorated bamboo arch is used as welcome signage of a town, city, or village in the country. And uh, it is widely used as a decoration during town fiestas in Bulacan. Bamboo is primarily used in creating a singkaban and the art is most prevalent in the old towns of Hagonoy and Malolos. Another material that is also originated from the province of Bulacan is the pabalat or pastillas wrapper cutting art. The word pabalat has two levels of meaning. On a literal note, it pertains to the pabalat as a product or paper cutouts. On a metaphorical level, it connotes the state of the art practice. The art is not only a cultural product or an artistic expression but 
also cuts through some cultural, social, even political discourses and issues. Pabalat is also a folk art or in Filipino term, sining bayan. It is also folk art because it originated among the town's folk reflecting their traditional culture. The art practice has also has been passed from generation to generation and its creative elements and aesthetic values mirror the people's everyday life. And now, let's move on to another place which is also known as the resort capital of the Philippines, the province of Laguna. As to their material being used in their artworks, there is what we call taka. And taka means making. A takaan, a curved wooden sculpture, is used as a mold in making taka. Brown craft paper is used as a final layer for taka made for export. This provides a thicker base and smoother finish for the craft. Taka refers to paper mache made using curved wooden sculpture used as a mold. The craft originated in the town of Paete, Laguna in the Philippines. Common and traditional subjects of taka include the manok or chicken, kabayo or horse, kalabaw or karabaw, and dalaga or maiden, which is made primary for local use. Did you know that taka was pioneered by paete local Maria Piday? During Christmas, Piday was in charge of the church's decorations. The wooden angels and cherub was heavy causing the curvings to fall. Piday was devised the lightweight taka paper mache as an alternative to the wooden sculptures. Another craft or local material that is also originated from Laguna Taal Lumban, there is what we call Pagbuburda. Taal embroidery has also adorned garment accessories and home decor items. Although the embroidery looks exquisite on juicy and piña fabric, it is also dainty in cotton, linen, and rami. Well, the art of embroidery is happily alive and flourishing in these towns, although it's mostly done by women who are wives of the farmers and fishermen, it is not uncommon to see farmers and fishermen who are also carefully and delicately embroidering floral designs during their off-season. Okay class, now that you know the different materials and its characteristics for the local, I want you to answer the following questions. Number one, what local and recyclable materials are used in creating artworks? Number two, do you know of any place where we could find examples of these artworks? Number three, among the folk arts, what are you very familiar with? What can you say about how it is made of? Number four, how would young generation learn to appreciate the kind of artworks mentioned in our lesson? For your performance task, you will create a unique puni using colored paper cuts. It may be in a form of toys like birds, fish, or anything beyond your imagination. Rubrics for your performance task is also presented here.